This morning, federal investigators zeroing in on the cause of that toxic train derailment. On Thursday, the National Transportation Safety Board releasing its preliminary report. Investigators say this surveillance video appears to show a wheel bearing on the train approach what they call an overheat failure moments before the derailment. This was 100% preventable. We call things accidents. There is no accident. NTSB says a suspect wheel bearings temperature was tracked by three sensors across roughly 30 miles in this area. The first reading, 38 degrees above the air temperature. Then it was up 103 degrees. Finally, 253 degrees hotter than the air temperature. They were following procedures. Once they got the critical alarm of 253, they took immediate action. According to investigators, the engineer slowing the train before an automatic emergency brake brought it to a stop. But before that critical alarm, the NTSB says Norfolk Southern's crew was not alerted to the first two temperature checks. In a statement, Norfolk Southern says its temperature detectors trigger an alarm at a temperature threshold that is among the lowest in the rail industry. Meanwhile, residents like Michelle Graff are joining class action lawsuits. She's worried about her bed and breakfast business. It's kind of like if a bully punches you, you got to push them back. The report coming as Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg has been criticized for not visiting sooner. He toured the derailment site Thursday, pushing for tighter train safety rules. Uh, I think we need to uh, raise the bar on what's expected and on what's required. How much does a promise for tomorrow help? Well, it, it doesn't. I mean, this is here. It's happened. We have to deal with it.